At a town hall meeting Monday afternoon, the number of refugees in Amarillo seemed to be the main concern for many of Cal Salaguer's constituents. Who stands to benefit to bring in an, an unbalanced number of uh, refugees? I think it is money driven. Who's getting the money? And who's making that request and who's paying it? And because the cities and the healthcare institutions and the schools are not getting the money that come with the relocations. Something's got to give there. Money, Seliger says, is what seems to be the driving force bringing traditional refugees to our city. But officials say that money has yet to be seen. Typically, Amarillo receives anywhere from 500 to 600 traditional refugees who come from resettlement camps each year. When Mayor Paul Harple says in reality per capita, Amarillo should only receive 60 at best. We get inquiries from the schools. We get inquiries from our health department about what this is doing to our city and, and how it's really, in some cases, not helping refugees when you put too many in one place. Saliger and Harpel both say they've taken the issue to the State Department of Health Services, and along with everyone else, they're still waiting on an answer. Uh, Amarillo, for, for whatever reasons, and I, I don't know the reasons, has been unduly burdened. And I think it'd be worth the investigation to find out who lubricates that system with the money.